So an important skill to learn in programming is to be able to read code and trace what it's doing. So I just made up this sort of silly uh, example uh, so that you can, can see what, um, what it means to be able to trace code. So if we look at this, at this example function, it is taking an argument, which is a, a picture or an image, it is looping over all of the pixels in that picture. We're getting the current red, the current green, and the current blue values and saving them each in a different variable. And then it's making a new color and we can see that the new color has half again as much red as the original image. So it's turning the red up by 50%. We can see here, anytime we take a color value and subtract it from 255, we're negating it. So it's negating the green, and then it's taking the blue and it's um, dividing it by two. So it's having the amount of blue. So 50% more red, half as much blue, and then it's negating the green. So this is gonna make for a pretty odd looking image. And then it's taking the the pixel and setting it to this new color. So um, if we were to, to test this, um, we would expect to see an image that's got quite a bit more red in it um, and a lot less blue. And then this negation is gonna do some odd stuff to, to the green. So I could, I'm gonna just, the program, I've already loaded the program, so I'm just gonna uh, create a picture and just like we've seen in some of our other functions, we can do a little shortcut here. I can make a picture. And in the make a picture um, function, I can call pick a file. So rather than saving the file information in a separate variable, I can just call pick a file in the make a picture. And I'll just pick something down here. I think Big Ben is kind of an interesting one to do here. So if I show my picture here, I see that I've got Big Ben. And now I'm going to, I've already loaded my example function. I'm gonna call it and pass it the picture. And then I'm gonna repaint the picture. And I see that um, it is a lot more, has a lot more red in it, a lot uh, less blue, not much blue at all. And then I can see that um, this negating the green is made for a very odd effect here. Um, but the idea here is to be able to trace through the code and try to figure out what's happening and what's going on in, in the function. So that's just an example of tracing picture functions.